Wilder fight. That's what they're saying is is done for December. White oh wow, fight. Wilder fight. I thought we were talking about the white fight. Yes, and what might take this fight? If oh, yeah. okay. Just look, waited. I can't wait. I can't wait for the Wilder fight. I have to stay focused. Why wouldn't the Wilder fight happen in August? Bigger reward in January. Bigger option. I can't focus on that. I've got to focus on what's right for my career and that's staying busy. I was talking about it earlier. What's the plan for heavyweight boxing in Britain from April till December? Nothing's been announced, right? In the UK. Is there any fights happening other than this one? Joy Zhang rematch. Joy Zhang rematch, that was another one. So this is a nice one to keep, a nice buffer to keep us ticking over. And it's important for me to stay busy. It's important for me to continue to kind of bring some thrilling nights for heavyweight boxing in the UK. And that's just what it's about. They're the two reasons why I thought I'm not gonna wait. Continue to bring thrilling nights to heavyweight boxing in the UK and for me to keep busy. The only way for me to improve my dip in performance is to get busy again and stay active. AJ, what's the goal now? Why are you still fighting? Why? Yeah. It's all I know, like, it's what I do, I'm like, and um, I'm with a good coach who is showing me there's more to what I know. What I think I know is good, but let me show you what else I can teach you. And um, that passion to learn. Yeah. And, uh, sorry, I was just what's he yeah. long, training long, so long, so Errol Spence, Jamel Brilliant. Charlo. Brilliant, Like you guys all interviewing together now, subconsciously you guys will learn something cool from each other because like you all, in the same environment. So when you're amongst, or if you was interviewing me by yourself, it would just be you and you'll think, yeah, I've done a good job. But when you're amongst others, same industry, you might look at that piece of equipment and think, oh, you know what, I need to get one of those. I need to get a microphone, I need to get a light. And that's what's happening when I'm in the gym with these guys. I'm seeing, oh, he's worked more rounds than me on a heavy bag. Nah, forget that. I'm working these amount of rounds on a heavy bag tomorrow. So it inspires you, it drives you. Where before I was in the gym on my own, which ain't a bad thing, I was only the, the only person that my coach was training. But now I'm amongst other fighters. Even though we're not training together, it's not a group session, but in passing, like in the last five rounds, for example, five rounds, 15 minutes, even 10 rounds, half an hour, I might come in half an hour early to get my boots on and wraps on and I'm able to watch 10 rounds of good work and it kind of just, Oh, keeps yeah. my mind ticking over. That's something I was going to ask. Do you sit there and watch them? So you right. mentioned sparring, like yeah, where I lead. Do, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach invites everyone down for sparring. It's good. It's really good. Really good environment. Really good. Who have you been most impressed by? Who have I been most impressed by? What coach wise? No, in, in in the gym when when watching them train. Obviously, we know Ryan Garcia is now in there as well. I haven't seen much of Garcia yet. I see him like twice. Um, who have I been most? Errol, of course, Errol. You back him to do a job over 50-50 fight, but I back him. It's 50-50 fight, it's undisputed. Will you, will you be at the fight? Mm, I think I've got to stay focused, bro. I'll be honest with you. As much as I want you, I think I should stay focused. What's the what's the second, fight second fight now Second fight now with Derek James. What do you feel that like you're learning what's coming along in the major improvements since he's taking on your training? Just like he's allowing me to make things my own. What tends to happen when you first go to a new environment is kind of like, do it this way, and you're trying to do it exactly the way they want you to do it, which is fine. But what he said to me is that, all right, look, I'm also going to teach you things, but I want you to make it your own. Even though I'm telling you how to do it, I want you to figure out how to make it unique to you. And it's helping me develop. Because when I move coaches so many times, it's like, any fight I will tell you that you're always trying to do what's right for the coach, listen to what he's saying, and do exactly what he's saying, where now it's like, I'm able to express myself and do things that he's telling me, but in my own unique way. How have you found the transition of living in London and now living in Texas? It's good, you know, it's good. Like, there's no media like UK media, <laughs> no pressure like UK pressure. So to get out of this environment and just settle and focus is good. Also, the time zones are good because we're six hours behind you guys. So let's say when I'm in the gym, Everyone's messaging me. By the time I get back to everyone, they're sleeping. So it's like, I'm not in like constant communication in my rest period. It's just like a quick message or voice note back and I'm just chilling. I'm able to focus purely on my job because of the time difference. Oh, bro, no. I thought January was hot in the gym. They didn't tell me about this heat. Like, yeah, everyone can say the heat and yeah, what? It's hot in every country, but 
it's a unique heat in Texas, that's for sure. And Anthony, you've always been scrutinised and people have always been critical of you throughout your career. You've obviously achieved a great deal. What do you make of anyone who, certainly maybe went back over the, your most recent part with Jermaine Franklin, have said, is he now gun shy? Is he now worried about what's coming back in? What have been your thoughts on those comments? I would say when, when Fury fought Wallen and went 12 rounds, no one said he was gun shy. I went 12 rounds with Franklin, I'm gun shy. It's, it's people's opinions, isn't it? It's like, people sort of say, oh, it was good that he went 12 rounds. It's good to get him under the belt. I went 12 rounds. It's good to get him under the belt. It's people's opinions at the end of the day. I was saying, until someone's good enough to bring that fight out of me, I'll do whatever I want. If people want to see that fight, send me a fight out. That'll bring that side out. Does the need to bring that side out of you? You don't know. I don't know. We have to see who goes to talk. Do you want him to bring that side out of you? What side is that though? Is that the one that stands in the front of someone? The side where you can get your teeth into something. Teeth into something. I'm trading, he's trading. Or is it about winning? What, what's it about? I mean, on a fight week where we see you riled up, when no, you no, go no, into the, the fight, ring, the fight, yeah, the fight. do what, you not then feel different? What's important? The entertainment or the win? From a fighter perspective, yourself, the win by any means. That's it. Yeah. But that's your question. Do you not go in with a different mentality is, when you're when you're angrier at your opponent? No, because boxing is about skill. Like I realise that. Like I should be that good that I don't. You're not, you're, not, you're not even on my level to get me annoyed. Why am I even getting angry? You shouldn't even. I'm, I'm putting you on a pedestal. Then. If you can get under my skin, I'm putting you on a pedestal. I should never put you on a pedestal. But I'm saying is that from your point of view, it sounds like you're more interested in entertainment, of course, stylistically, entertainment-wise, but what's more important is the win. That's what I'm focused on is winning. Because you don't will be like, ah, great fight, but he should have kept his hands up. Great fight, why did he get involved in a war? Why did he just stick behind his jam? Great fight. Could have made that so much easier. It is what it is, isn't it? It's how life goes, right? So you've got to do what's right for you. Hey, Joe, I know you've said uh, you're not too bothered about opinions, but someone who has been vocal for ages about you, and I don't think you've responded, is Carl Frotch. He questioned your legacy and things like that. Um, do you have any response to that, or what is the relationship like, like with Carl? I don't really uh, communicate with Carl outside of I don't really communicate with Carl. Um, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. Like you are. Like I am. I gave my opinion. Who's to say what's right or wrong? But Frotch is entitled to his opinion. Um, whether you agree with it, whether you don't agree with it, is your choice. But for me personally, legacy. It's a word. Yeah, legacy. What is legacy? What you have done? I'm still doing it, so yeah. And so when you, you want to make of it is what people want to make of it. When you mention that word legacy, obviously, when you look across the sport in general, a lot of brilliant fights have been made in the lower weights. We've just mentioned Spence Crawford, obviously, you've got Canelo Charlo on the horizon, yeah. Tank Garcia, the list goes on. The heavyweights, I know you're about to fight Dillian, but people want to see you, Fury, you versus Wilder, Fury versus Fury. Give me my credit, well, no, Fury, give me my credit and I'll fight him. But do you understand? Why do they want me? Why do they want me to fight him all the time? Because you're one of the best in the, in the division. But you don't give my credit, though. I ain't got no legacy, apparently. It's, 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 you know what I'm saying? Go on. No, I was just going to ask you. Do you understand fans' frustrations when they don't see those big okay, fights so being made? What happened, with, what happened with the champ when he said that? Ah, oh, he's training for Usyk. Then his coach came out and said, "I'm not training him." What's no, he talking mate, about? He, he falls beneath. He falls in that category. You got to call him out. Like you make it clear what you're addressing. Do you think he ducked Usyk then? What do you think? Be clear. Well, <laughs> the question is, was he, he said uh, the money, uh, the rematch clause, Usyk said he wasn't happy about the money. So, I don't know. I'll leave it to people's opinion, but if that was me, what would people say? Probably wouldn't screw it. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to start holding people accountable the same way they hold me. Yes, Usyk. Didn't that, but Fury did that.
AJ, you've been the first player at British football for the last 10 years. You know, everyone's looked up to your fights. You've had stadiums. For the fights like this. Then I was there for the first fight. You've had come for the first fight. You've had stadiums before. <laughs> um, is there a lot of pressure when you look at all this slander online? You look at people maybe discrediting you. You're a human being. Like, you're a human being. At the end of the day, you see all the social media posts. You see people discrediting you. Does it, does it affect you in any way? No. Do you know what it is like? We're living in it. Like what, what, I don't know how to explain it, but like, you know when like, you're your family or you're your friends or you're, in your, and you're just living or you're just chilling? Um, why would I spend time? Like, imagine I'm with like the man there and we're just like, oh bro, man, I saw one comment on the internet, you know? And everyone's like, oh, I swear, like, what were, like why are we gonna entertain? We're talking about girls, like living, like, you know, like what's happening? Are we going to holiday? Where are we going to eat? And this is the environment that we create around around ourselves. So it's uh, the, the discredit and negative opinions is just in today's generation. Do you know what it is as well? What I learned, my, my little niece, she might get bullied in school. Kids the age of three years old get bullied in school, picked on. Teachers get picked on. People at work, get picked on. Fighters get picked on. We're not the only ones that face adversity and traumas and bullies and people trying to discredit you. So like, how would anyone do it in their workplace when they've got a group of people that don't like them, that gang up on them in their workplace? Just get on with it. They're like, that's just how us fighters do it. We it's just funny get... about different for you because you've been the main man for British boxing for 10 years. So it's a lot more eyes on you than a normal fighter, right? But I feel like it's probably because expectation as well deliver every time, this, that. The thing is, I never actually wanted to be a boxer. People put their own pressure on me. I'm just doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't some child prodigy that was like 14 that went to the gym and had dreams of being a champion. I just, my cousin took me to the gym and I just trained. <laughs> and I just happened to be here now. So it's like, you not created this pressure, not me. <laughs> AJ, other than a lot of chess with Ben, who's behind yeah. us back there, what does life in Dallas away from being in the gym look like? I imagine much more laid back, right? That's the last question. From yeah, so what we do, like kind of, obviously train, come back, chill, food. And even in times of just kind of food, banter, go on a walk. Training camp's nothing special though. Remember, I'm in training camp, right? So it's kind of recover as much as you can because you know in the morning you're going to do it all again. That's the only thing. First thing in the morning, you're going to war again. So that's, that's what I'm trying to find something interesting, but it's not as interesting as I'm trying to make out. No, you can ask up one more. Like, okay. One more, one more. Can, can I get your thoughts on Canelo Charles? Obviously, Jamal's going up two ways. It's a big ask, but... Look, credit to Canelo. He's active. He's never even trying to say Canelo's not who he once yeah. was and all that. People just talk, bro. That's what I'm saying. Canelo, of course he is. He's a serious fighter. That's, that answers your question about people's yeah. opinions. It's like people just got something to say about everyone, about anything. So Canelo's a serious fighter, one of the best. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Who's that? Um, hey, it's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Do you know who you are again? Huh? Uncle Femi. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Where's your sister? I'm at my friend's house. Are you chilling out? Yeah, you're living the dream, <laughs> living the good life. How old are you now? Hi. Hello. Hi. So I live in the dream. Yeah, I'm gonna find you. Yeah. Right, where Where are you? I'll come there. I'll come there and see everyone calling me out. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Ta-a, ta-a, ta-a. Where are you? Um, oh, yeah, I'm here right there. There's a bit of detail. Okay, Anyone message around, I'm going to come and box them up for you, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Give me Spud. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> so, with Canelo, uh, yeah, people talk negative of him. He's... He's gone with PVC. Yeah. yeah. I think it's clear that he wants to fight Charlo Benefides. He's the last one. Spence B mentioned. Is it? Harold's been yeah. mentioned. But who was a free that they were saying? I don't know. The other Charlo. Yeah, yeah. Serious. 
I think it's quite good. I think it's good. I think he's um I rate I rate Canelo. With um Charlo, they're confident that he'll that, that he'll beat Canelo. One more question. And and the reason is, is speed and strength. Speed and strength. But the only thing is with Charlie, he's been out of the ring for a long time. I think it was two years? Three years? Yeah, that's it. Canelo's active. He's busy. But I rate Canelo, man. They're saying that Canelo's finished, bro. You're only finished when you're done. I mean, what do you think Eddie feels about right now? Because he's not promoting Canelo anymore. Wounded. <laughs> Wounded. I think it's crazy. <laughs> Wounded. Uh, I heard him be crying in his bed. <laughs> hey, I bet you you're going to be wearing that Dolce Gabbana on. <laughs> <laughs> I said you'll be wearing that Dolce Gabbana. <laughs> Now you can give him some underarm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we've got to wrap it up.